Hey everybody, it's Brother Jill. I'm back. It's taken me a couple of weeks to come back because I'm a little nervous about this video. Um, I'm going to be trying on clothes and as a fat person that makes me very nervous to do on the fucking internet. So, I think I found a solution. I Oh, just a regular wine bottle. Um, I'm going to be getting drunk while I do it. I think that'll help a lot. What do you think? Um, so let's start off. I'm doing a Shein haul. And for those of you who don't know what Shein is, they are a clothing manufacturer that produces subpar clothing for $10. And you can order 5,000 things, um, and it'll only be like 25 bucks. But as with everything, it's a gamble. So let's get started. I'm going to drink a couple sips, and then we're going to get started on our Shein haul right now. I'm drinking um, Pinot Grigio because I'm Caucasian. All right, we'll start with our first thing. So the cool thing about Shein is um, they hate the environment. They hate it so much that they put all of their clothing in individual bags and then they put it in a box and they ship it across the world. So, first thing, this. I got this for a fancy night out in Reno, which I hope will happen at some point. Um, so let's go try it on. You wait right here. Okay, so this is clearly a very classy number for job interviews or going to Trader Joe's or whatever. Um, I wanna note that it's really thin super thin and also uh, gold flakes. Every time I move, gold flakes keep coming off and it reminds me of like Chernobyl, just like flakes in the air that are gonna give me some kind of horrible disease later on in life. Um, also, hold on. Also, I don't know, China, this or at least Shein, I'm sure China is, but Shein, I don't know if they're aware of uh, titty balls, how big they can be. And when you're ordering a size 20, which is what I am, I know, hard to believe, um, that like you need some kind of support or coverage, one or the other. You can support me or you can cover me. It would be great if you did both, but when you do neither, I mean, I have to, this is a full sports bra. Um, so yeah, I don't think that I would wear this without some kind of sewing situation or just a general coverage. It's just, but you know, I think I paid a whopping $8. Oh, it costs so much to look so cheap, right? All right, to our next thing. Okay, so I have gold flakes, which I'm sure will turn into some kind of like cancer or uh, degenerative nerve disease uh, all over my body. Uh, but overall, it looks great from afar. Um, there might be some alterations I need to do to it. I really am trying to like drink and get drunk during this. So our next thing, um, is a, I don't know about you, but man, a polka dot, love it. Especially if it's like a big, big, big polka dot. Let's go try it on, let's see what it looks like. I'm super excited. Okay, so this is cute-ish, you know, like, hey, cute. Again, I wish I could have a little bit more coverage. Um, it came with this like weird, I don't know if you can see this. This is about maybe half a cent's worth of plastic. And just like the saddest, limp, sad, limp kind of belt. And I guess you're supposed to tie it somehow. Uh, yeah, unsuccessful. Um, just like my dating life. So yeah, it has this weird useless belt, um, which would be just throw it away, who cares? Uh, but then you have these weird 
belt loops to deal with. But overall, I mean, I feel like it's, it's pretty cute. I would wear it. I would definitely would do this situation. Um, I wouldn't try to, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's cool. It's cool. We'll do the next thing. It's cool. You guys have only tried on two dresses and uh, I'm already tired. I have like five more things to go. And like, look, I mean, I drink a little bit of wine, so it's just gonna get crazy. We're gonna get crazy. Uh, our next dress, it doesn't matter. There's only like eight people who are gonna watch this video. I love a leopard print. Ever since I was a kid and I got my first Cramps album, for those of you who don't know, the Cramps are like this like psycho billy band. Love a leopard print. And this is a stretchy, a stretchy leopard print. What else could a fat rockabilly person want than a stretchy leopard print? Love it, I can't wait. Let's see what it looks like, guys, okay? All right, this is pretty great. I like it, it gives me some good, I have like a fat arm situation. It's a little freakish that I need um, three quarter sleeves. This does it. I mean, it's not the most subtle dress, um, but I like it. It's kind of made of like this like stretchy, kind of like sh shitty spandex, but it's cute. It's cool. I mean, it's good for if you want to just be like, hey, I'm 40, I'm going to go to a punk rock show. Oh wait, coronavirus, no such thing. Um, I don't know that, actually I don't know why I bought all these clothes. I don't ever leave the house, so whatever. Ooh, okay. All right, next dress. Let's see about this. This was a very questionable, all right? Houndstooth, burgundy cream houndstooth. Anyone that knows me knows I've been wearing nothing but all black for the last 45 centuries so for me to order a cream and burgundy houndstooth dress is wild and stupid and guess what i think it was seven dollars so let's see what it looks like maybe it'll look cool maybe i'll wear it all the time who knows maybe it'll be anything we'll see hey guys look at me this is a chill look right um I don't know if this just like looked cool on the model or if she just like had a bunch of money in her hand and that's why I was like, oh, I want that dress. But yeah, this is like uh, a look, a look and a half. This is like, do I want to attract like a 60 year old polygamist kind of dress? You know what I mean? Like, ooh, are you a fundamentalist Mormon? What's up? But I do like this little like choky polyester frill right there. It almost it almost like covers up my neck tattoo, which I like. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's kind of fun when I can find some clothing that makes me look like a normal person. This, however, not it. All right, let's see what's next. Cool. Okay, guys, I am getting a little drunk, but. That's the idea, right? By the way, look at this quarantine manicure. It's amazing. The man hands. Okay, this next dress, when I saw it, I was like, oh dear God, if it could be this cute in person, I'll die a thousand times. Like, it's kind of hard to find a dress that's gonna look like just so cute. Most of the dresses that I wear, I'm just like, oh, looks, Semi-cute, congrats. So anyways, let's see. This dress, I wanted it to look cute. I feel like there's just no way it's gonna live up to my expectations. Uh, Cause it looks so adorable. First of all, black fave color. And uh, black and frilly, high neck, love it. Let's see what it's gonna look like on. Probably a huge disappointment. Let's see. Okay. I want, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. 
it's like dating on apps like I knew it it's a huge disappointment not huge it's cute right like my life look is definitely sexiest bitch at a funeral that's what I want to look like at all times like damn girl you look hot it's a funeral how did you do that that's what I want to go for just all the time right well I would think a frilly cute dress like this would work but again it's the titty ball situation Shein I don't know what tits like are in China but like the line for the boobs is like just too high now it looks like I am full prego like you went from being a cute dress to making somehow making me look fatter as a person like you gotta drop that line underneath the the titty ball line um yeah so this is cute this is and it, look this weird like okay what is this i'm gonna tie it no oh, look at me i have a cute tied situation like that's cute okay cool it's cute but it's too like your this line right here this waistline too fucking high it makes me look a thousand times better also just disappointing i guess i just need to lose weight or get some kind of boob reduction or something because yeah should i just go to china should i go here's here's the thing should i go to china and be like Hey guys, look at me. I have the hugest boobs in the world. Start fucking making dresses that look okay on me, please. Because I have tens and tens of dollars to give you. Just listen to my boob needs. I'm getting drunk, you guys, on the internet. So in between takes, I'm like re-watching what I just filmed them, like, wow. I'm fully getting drunk. But that's cool. That's the point. Look, look, look at how much wine's left. Not that much. Okay, next dress, next dress. This I almost didn't buy, but it was like on mega super sale. So that means it was like two dollars. It's pink. It's velvet. What's it gonna look like on? Let's fucking see. Let's see, I'll be right back. Okay. So this, I don't know if you can like see. Do you see like the, this is like full ass see-through, pink velvet. This to me, garbage. And it looks like Miss Piggy goes prom. Like that's what it reminds me of. Like, I don't think, clothes designers think about this as much as they should you're designing clothes for a fat person um and you have to think about like what has a fat ex person experienced in their life like especially like a fat woman like you don't want to wear no pink pig fucking see-through velvet situation this is awful like you can like see through it it's pink it's garbage like why i'm glad that i only paid like three dollars like shan you really pressured me to get this you were like this is on mega sale maybe this is cute but it's not it's not cute it's dumb it's garbage and i hate it hate it hate it what's the next thing all right luckily i saved the best I saved the best for last. Not last. It's not last. It's not last. It's I save the best for when I'm the drunkest. Kind of like my dating life. Um, oh, wait. I have one more dress before I get into what I like to call the see-through category. That's right. This is a long video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. But wait, it gets better. I keep getting drunker and my clothes are now getting to be see-through, which is very embarrassing so our next thing let's see 
this thing. Well, let's see. It's a, it's a stretchy, big black stretchy thing. Let's see what it looks like on. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I, I'm not hating this. It's like a little, I went to the Halloween store and I got um, like a, wisp, a witch costume. Um, so this made it at like a really cheap, kind of like see-through-y material. And like, I'm not, I'm not like loving this weird like loose, look at this, loose ball sack skin neck thing. Like I'm not in love with it, but other than that, like it's black, it's cute. I look like a um, fierce bitch at a funeral. That's my life goal, really, is to be inappropriately sexy at a event of mourning. That's what I want. And I feel like this dress kind of does this. I'm into it. Like I'll totally wear this dress, even though it has the weird like ball sack neck. It's cool. And uh, yeah, totally worth the $4.99, $5 that I spent on it. Cute, good job Shein, love it. Whew. Okay guys, it's time. We've got there. I've only got three more things. I mean like, to be honest, I bought a million things. I did. But I knew that you wouldn't be able to last this whole video. So I was like, I really can't show a million things. I can only show like seven things. But I have three things left. And I have very little wine left. It's only like 5 p.m. So I'm gonna have to buy more alcohol for the rest of the night. Um, but are you excited? Are you pumped? Cause we're gonna start trying on some see-through shit. It's gonna be crazy. All right. Let me be right back with some see-through shit. It's gonna be wild. Uh, Seven layer bean dip is so good. Like, it's so good. All right, you guys ready? I am. I'm ready to start. I'm just gonna put it on right here. Yeah, that's how ready I am. That's how ready I am. Like, let's just, I don't need to fucking make sure it looks cool like i'm just gonna just the truth the raw ass truth about the see-through section so i got this as a swimsuit cover-up because in case like i go to the pool and i'm like i'm trying to flex and like look cool at the pool you know i'm trying to look goth and urban urban goth at the pool so this is cute Right? Like it's like a little see-through hoodie situation. And then it's a little see-through shorts. Can you see it? See-through shorts. Can you see it? So yeah, like I like this. This is awesome. I feel like I could wear this in all kinds of situations. Like I got like a, a sleeveless dress that I want to look cute in. I could just be like, oh. It's hot. I better put a see-through fucking hoodie on over this. But I like this. Shein, this is cute. Good job. Oh, this is a tag. Bruh, what are you... Why are you putting tags on see-through shit? Like, for real? Your shit's see-through. You can see the tags. Like, don't put tags on see-through shit. God. Look at that. Dumb. Okay. Besides the tag, this is adorable. Love it. We'll wear it. <sighs> very tough. Very cool. Um, so let's see our next like see-through thing. Is it gonna be a scandal or is it gonna be chill? Let's see. Okay, so in case you guys are wondering, like I didn't look at this. Not a lot left. 
full drunk. It's not movie magic, guys. Just regs drunk. Um, this is our next thing. Let's see. It's efficient. Who doesn't love efficient, right? So cute. It's so cute. I love efficient. Again, not even trying to go in the other room and try it on. Like, let's just pop it on. Let's just show the people the truth. Let's show the people the truth about a fishnet fucking shirt. This is cute though. I like this. This is adorable. Like, I'm a rap video hoe right now. Like, look at me. If I knew how to do a dance or something, I would, but I don't. Um, again, this hits two major categories that I'm looking for, and that is urban and goth at the pool. And I feel like this does it. This is cute. This is very cute. Good job, Shan. $3.99, well spent. $3.99, well spent. Love it. Let's try it on the last. I'm gonna regret this, huh? Just making a drunk video online, probably. Okay, that's cool. Let's try our last thing. It's the last thing. It's the last thing and empty. It's, the rest is in here. Well, well, look at that. Drinking it. I drank a bottle of white wine. I took clothes on and off on the internet that's wild and i'm gonna try on the last thing which is technically like a a lingerie a lingerie thing Shein has lingerie which i'm like i'm not first of all lingerie is stupid lingerie is stupid that's like a whole other fucking youtube video about how stupid lingerie is and let me highlight Let me highlight how stupid lingerie is by showing you this. Look, this came with, this came with it. What is this? What is this? I don't want this anywhere near my genitalia. This is terrible. This is a torture device. Like, I don't think dudes understand. Like, dudes, this is what you should do. You should fucking take a shoestring Tie it around the head of your dick and then pull it through your fucking ass cheeks and then tug on it as hard as you can. And you get this. That's what this is. Does, does this look cool to you? Stupid. This is garbage. Throw it away. But here's the thing. I'm always looking for like cute kind of covery uppy type of things. And I saw this and I was like, oh, this is cute. We'll see, we'll see how cute. It, maybe it's not cute at all. I don't know. I'm very drunk right now. I'm very drunk right now. Trust me. Trust me. Um, it's a red see through -y type situation. I mean, I guess it's like kind of cool. This weird sleeve, it's not a bell sleeve, it's just a regular sleeve and it looks weird. Weird long sleeve, but this could work. Like this is not something that I'd be like, hey, hey, do you wanna do sex with me? I wanna put on this weird see-through red thing. But again, like this is like a swimsuit cover-up type situation or maybe like a, I'm wearing a cute dress and I don't want to, the sleeve thing, look, you can't see it. It's like a, it reminds me of like Borat, a wizard sleeve situation. I don't know. At this point, oh shit guys, at this point, I don't fucking know. I hope you like this video. I hope it's funny or something, but, oh look. Comes with a cool thing. Comes with a cool thing. Um, I'm guessing it's probably for like a cute hair accessory. Like, 
Hey, look at me. An adorable hair accessory. No, no, that's not what it's for. Are you sure? Okay. All right, guys. Um, I have a whole other Shein haul. I'll do it on a different day. Um, because I'm wasted. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this and put it on the internet, but let's see if it happens. Okay, bye. I drank a whole bottle of white wine. Defund the police. Bye.